Hi everyone, welcome to the lab. In my previous video I repaired this Tektronics TDS5054B oscilloscope by replacing this motherboard with a similar one I bought on eBay, but I still hope to fix this original board. It's an old uh, socket 478 motherboard, but still a valuable board because it fits these scopes. And as I showed in my previous video, it tries to start for a brief moment, and I tried capturing that moment on an oscilloscope, and that way tested uh, some power rails and so on. And I believe that the CPU core power rail does not start, so I blame this uh, step-down converter chip. It converts uh, 12 volt rail into that uh, CPU core rail, let's say about 1.5 volts. And that doesn't seem to work. Of course I might be wrong, something else might affect this and somehow cause this chip not to start or something like that. But my current hypothesis is that this chip is dead. So I bought a few replacements, they were sold as a lot of 5 pieces, about $8 delivered from China. These are ADP3168 uh, chips. And I also bought a bunch of electrolytic capacitors uh, from DigiKey to replace on this board and on the board which is currently in the scope. Let's go! I don't really want to use hot air here, because in particular this plastic connector is very close and can be damaged. This uh, CPU heatsink frame can be easily removed, I suppose. But I don't think I have to use hot air, because these chips don't have a pad on the bottom. And I have these uh, tweezers with wide tips, which can uh, heat up uh, both sides of the chip at the same time. This should work very well, I suppose. Yes, it was very easy. Here it is. Now I need to clean the pads and solder a new chip. Clean the pads with a wick, ready for a new chip. New chip is soldered, ready to test. Let's give it a try. Turn this thing on and push the button. Yeah, it starts. It beeps. Complaining about no memory, I suppose. I should better shut this down, because there is no heatsink on the CPU. And now with a heatsink and memory module. Tektronics! Not that gateway rubbish. How cool is this? I'm recapping the original Tektronics board. Let's briefly look at some capacitors. These are 470 microfarad capacitors I desoldered from the board. 10 volts, 85 degrees C rated, Nichicons. This one is about 200 microfarads, and this is at 1 kilohertz, and about 0.37 ohms ESR. Let's look at one more. Approximately the same, and let's measure dissipation factor, about 0.9. And I measured all of them, they look quite consistent. And now let's look at these new Rubicons I bought from DigiKey. These are 105 degrees C rated, also 470 microfarads, 10 volts. And look, much higher capacitance, about 377 and uh, 0.23 uh, dissipation factor, much lower. And let's go back to ESR, about 93 milliohms, so they look much better. But uh, was it necessary to replace these? I'm not entirely sure, maybe they are just slightly lower grade model, 
or maybe they degraded consistently a bit but certainly this looks like an improvement and I hope the board should last much longer with them and they are not expensive at all about 16 cents a piece at this quantity of 50 these are 100 microfarad 25 volt capacitors I believe by United Chemicon let's take a look Sixty microfarads and one point two ohms ESR. Let's look at one more. Oh, this one is quite a bit worse. Forty six microfarads or forty seven and uh, about one point seven ohms ESR. And let's look at dissipation. Point nine. And now let's look at these new Nichicons from DigiKey. Almost 80 microfarads and the uh, 0.3 dissipation factor. And the SR is uh, 0.58. These are much better. These are 820 microfarad 6.3 volt capacitors and we have the opposite picture with them. These I desoldered from the board, Nichicons. They look much better than these new Rubicons I bought from DigiKey some time ago. They are long life series but perhaps not the right model for this application. Let me show you. eight hundred seventy seven microfarads and very low ESR about sixteen milliohms and dissipation also very low point zero nine let's say and let's look at this uh, Rubicon six seventy three and much higher dissipation point two five and uh, also much higher ESR, 56 milliohms. So I replaced most of the capacitors on this board. I didn't touch just a few small ones around this audio chip and I put back these two 820 microfarad ones. I showed one and the other one looks excellent as well. And there are three more of this kind here most probably fine as well, but I did not desolder this bank of capacitors at all. It's quite difficult because of very thick copper tracks involved in this uh, high current uh, step down converter. And I don't really want to struggle with this unless absolutely necessary. And I don't believe it's necessary. These uh, polymer capacitors rarely fail and usually have very low ESR and dissipation and uh, this whole bank of capacitors is in parallel and total capacitance should be slightly more than 7000 and I measured just that and the ESR is just a few milliohms so there is no reason to believe that anything is wrong there and I declare this good enough the original board is back in the scope and seems to work fine and I put the original heat sink in and temporarily a thicker fan and I ordered the replacement fan which is exactly the same model as the original one for about seven dollars delivered from China it will take a while to arrive so here we are I am so glad that I could fix the original board thanks for watching bye